with Buffalo Check Chicks. What's for supper? Nothing. We're going straight to dessert. So somebody gave me these uh, sour cherries, Montmorency cherries, and I looked up a recipe. And uh, it's very simple. Preheat your oven to 325, and uh, you are going to start with uh, one and two-thirds cups sifted flour, and to that you're going to add one cup of softened butter, and you're going to beat together for five minutes on a medium speed. Once you do that, it calls for five eggs, and you add the eggs one egg at a time, and incorporate all those eggs in there. So after that, go ahead and add one and one third cups of sugar and mix that in. And then you're gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, or you can omit that if you want, And I used a full teaspoon of vanilla. Now it asks for a quarter teaspoon vanilla, quarter teaspoon of almond extract. I didn't have almond extract. And I like vanilla, so I put a full one teaspoon of vanilla. That's pretty much it. And uh, go ahead and mix that all up. Really curious to see how this cake comes out. I've never had a cherry cake. I've had cherry pie, but not cherry cake. And I was itching to try a new recipe. Okay, so Lisa is going to zest one lemon. And we have, let's see, two cups of the sour cherries. Now these are already pitted and dried. These are the Montmorency cherries. If you uh, find them and they're wet, you have to pit them and you have to dry them between paper towels so it's easier to use the dried cherries. So add your cherries and fold those in. Oh, Lisa, you're doing a good job. That's why I'm gonna call this Lisa's Cherry Cake. Okay, let's get that lemon zest in. Boy, that smells good and lemony. Love it. So get that uh, lemon zest all stirred up in there. Now you're going to take a bunt pan and you are going to grease it and flour it. And uh, you can use Pam or you can use shortening. Add a little flour, shake it around, get it all coated up. And then go ahead and spoon in your batter. It is that simple. Really easy, easy recipe. So after you get it all uh, in there, you're going to bake it at 325 degrees for 55 minutes or until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. So, <laughs> Lisa's got to get that off there. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, what are you going to do? You always do it. you got to taste those beaters, and they're good. Okay, let's pop it in the oven, and we're just going to wait now. <laughs> okay, so cake, after completely cooling, got a dusting of confectioner's sugar, and it looks delicious. And we can't wait to try it, so let's try it. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, dig in there. She said, mmm, mmm, it's good. So hope you all give this cake a try. I tasted it, and it really is delicious. Bye-bye for now.